Navigating the open seas requires precision, reliability, and robust systems to ensure the safety of maritime vessels. One such critical piece of equipment is the gyro compass. Unlike magnetic compasses, which can be influenced by the Earth's magnetic field, the gyro compass offers an alternative that provides highly accurate directional information. This episode of the Curious Engineer series explores how gyro compass systems function, their importance aboard maritime vessels, the NMEL183 interface, and an introduction to the installation process. A traditional gyro compass is a non-magnetic compass that uses the principles of gyroscopic motion and the rotation of the Earth to determine true north. Unlike a magnetic compass that aligns itself with the magnetic poles, the gyro compass points toward true north, making it much more accurate for navigation, especially in polar regions or near large metal structures where magnetic interference may occur. Modern gyro compasses have correction systems to compensate for errors caused by ship movement or changes in latitude. These corrections ensure that the compass remains aligned with true north even during complex maneuvers. A typical gyro compass system on a maritime vessel consists of the gyroscope, the core of the system, responsible for detecting the ship's orientation relative to true north. The control unit regulates the spinning of the gyroscope and ensures accuracy. Repeater compasses distribute the gyro compass heading information to other locations on the vessel, such as the bridge, engine room, or automated systems. Steering systems integration connects with the vessel's autopilot or steering control to maintain a correct heading based on the gyro compass reading. Developed by the National Marine Electronics Association, the NMEA0183 interface is a standard protocol for exchanging data between marine electronic devices. It allows the gyro compass to send heading information to multiple systems on the ship, ensuring real-time data exchange. This serial communication protocol transmits a string of ASCII characters, making it simple but highly effective for marine environments. The integration of a gyro compass system doesn't just ensure accurate navigation. It plays a crucial role in maintaining communication across multiple onboard systems, from VSAT and IPTV to helideck monitoring systems. The VSAT, very small aperture terminal, system provides critical long-range communication for the vessel, including internet and satellite links. To maintain accurate satellite alignment, the VSAT system requires real-time heading data from the gyro compass. Through the NMEAL183 interface, the VSAT system receives consistent, precise heading information, ensuring that the satellite antenna stays correctly aligned even as the vessel changes course. By using the NMEAL183 interface to provide continuous heading data, the VSAT system can adjust the satellite dish's position to maintain signal integrity, even during harsh weather or abrupt vessel maneuvers. A critical aspect of offshore and maritime operations, especially on oil rigs or FPSOs, is the helideck monitoring system. Accurate heading information from the gyro compass helps ensure safe helicopter landings by providing pilots with real-time data on the vessel's heading, pitch, and roll. The NME0183 interface plays a vital role here, transmitting heading data to the helideck monitoring system, which synchronizes it with environmental sensors. This integration helps pilots make quick, safe decisions during takeoffs and landings, accounting for the vessel's movement and ensuring flight safety in dynamic offshore conditions. Once the gyro compass is connected to the VSAT, IPTV, and helideck monitoring systems, it's critical to run diagnostic tests. Verify that heading data is transmitted without delay, especially to the VSAT and HMS systems, where even minor inaccuracies could affect satellite alignment or flight safety. While the NMEA0183 protocol is reliable, it can experience signal degradation if cables are improperly shielded or too long. Additionally, because it operates on a serial communication protocol, only one talker can send data at a time. Make sure there are no conflicts between systems trying to access the Euro Compass simultaneously, and use optical isolators or multiplexers when necessary to ensure smooth data distribution. In many cases, a multiplexer is necessary to split the heading data from the gyro compass to multiple systems. As a system integrator, it's essential to map out how the gyro compass will interface with the ship's network and other systems. Review the technical drawings and ensure the integration points for communication, navigation, and power systems are clear. This is where your expertise in signal paths and power isolation plays a critical role. The gyro compass must be positioned in an area free from electromagnetic interference, which can affect both the navigation data and your communication systems. 
for telecom engineers, it's crucial to consider how proximity to other equipment, like radar antennas and VSAT terminals, might affect both the gyro and those systems. One of the key responsibilities of a telecom engineer is ensuring robust data transmission. When wiring the gyro compass system, consider the types of cables used. Shielded cables are recommended to minimize interference, particularly in environments where high-frequency communications occur. Run cables from the gyro compass to the bridge, where they interface with telecom systems, autopilot, and other navigation aids. Now, configure the output data from the gyro compass so it can interface with multiple systems on board. This may include setting up data protocols like NMEL183 or NMEA2000, depending on the communication interfaces your ship employs. Make sure that heading data flows seamlessly to all necessary systems, including navigation systems, radars, and telecom terminals. Precision in calibration is key. Input vessel-specific data into the control unit and ensure that calibration accounts for magnetic declination and roll, pitch compensation. When integrating with other systems, such as autopilot or communication systems, verify that data streams are aligned for real-time accuracy. After configuration, it's critical to run comprehensive tests. Check that heading data is properly transmitted across all systems, including the ship's telecom network and emergency communication systems. Fiber optic-based gyro compasses are revolutionizing how we navigate the seas. Unlike traditional gyro compasses, which rely on a spinning mechanical gyroscope to find true north, fiber optic-based gyro compasses use the Sanyak effect. Light is sent through coiled optical fibers in opposite directions. When the system rotates, a phase shift occurs in the light waves, allowing the fiber optic-based gyro compasses to calculate the vessel's heading with incredible accuracy. Fiber optic-based gyro compasses offer superior accuracy and minimal drift over time, thanks to the absence of mechanical components. With no moving parts, fiber optic-based gyro compasses are highly reliable and maintenance-free, perfect for harsh environments like offshore and maritime operations. Unlike traditional gyros, which take time to stabilize, fiber optic gyro provide instantaneous heading data upon startup, making them ideal for quick decision-making. These systems are lightweight, take up less space, and consume less power compared to their mechanical counterparts. Fiber optic-based gyro compasses are now widely used in modern maritime vessels, unmanned vehicles, and aerospace applications, where precision and durability are critical. Their immunity to magnetic interference and vibration makes them a preferred choice for industries like oil and gas, where reliability is crucial. As maritime navigation continues to advance, fiber optic gyro compasses are leading the way. Be sure to contact a professional for the successful installation and integration of a gyro compass system that maintains precise navigation and reliable data transfer across your ship's systems. Whether working on a merchant vessel, an oil tanker, or an FPSO, accurate integration is key to safe and efficient operations. Thank you for watching. For more technical insights and system integration tutorials, subscribe.